In this video, I'll walk you through how to use the free motion section of the mechanics laboratory. I'm going to enter just with the basic icon. You can also enter from a worksheet, and that works too. This is just the most generic way to get in there. When you get in, you can choose whatever materials you need in this stockroom. I'll start out with just a ball and say we want just downwards gravity. Maybe we want to be able to add a rocket force in the future. And then if we return to the lab, we place the items we need out on the table. If we want them to test how a ball moves just with gravity, you could have them place the ball. They can track and see in the parameters palette what the mass of the ball is and the size of the ball. They can adjust the size of gravity if that's useful. And then they can start the experiment and just watch it fall and track down with the data at the bottom how fast it's going after a certain amount of time. You can also have them reset and to be able to make a graph any free motion type data you can select the data that they need to actually track. So for example, just the Y position and the velocity. And then you can have them record the data, start it dropping, and stop it whenever you want. And then in the lab book, when you pull it up, you can see all of the data and they'll be able to graph it to be able to create any, any graphs you want. You could also certainly save the acceleration data or they could calculate that for themselves. If you want to have them start making the lab more complicated, they could add on air resistance and then repeat and see how it, it's different with that. Or they could start by applying some type of a force. It can either be a continuous force or it can go for just a set amount of time. And then how do the two forces interact? So you can set up some very interesting experiments where they'll be acting with competing forces. You can also have them do the plunger force that you saw in the stockroom. That one would be uh, more of an instantaneous force. So you can adjust all these values over in the parameters palette, have them analyze the data, and perform the experiments they need.